I'm so tired, man. And it's, it's honestly, my mood is so blown right now because it's a rainy day, which means there's no sunlight. And I haven't said this before, but I'll say it now. When I normally film, I use the natural light of day. I have two nicely sized windows in my room. The light shines through from the sun perfectly. I don't really need to use a ring light. Right now, I'm forced to use my ring light. I didn't want to really use my ring light until I purchased other lighting for my filming. But, you know, life wants to make you rush and do things. You can say you're going to do this and life is just like you thought you were going to do that. Sometimes it's just kind of dumb to plan stuff ahead or just, I don't know. It's just too much for me. Right now, I have this huge ring light shining in my face. I'm going partially blind making this video. But we're going to get through this together. And if you like this video, make sure you please thumbs it up. It really supports my content. And without further ado, I will get right into this eye look. Hey y'all, it's your girl Ebony B here. And today I'm gonna show you all how I created this really pretty green eye look using the Maybelline City Mini Palette. The palette that I used would be the Urban Jungle Palette. Once again, I'm just gonna show you guys how I created this eye look. This will not be a full face beat down. Here I'm just identifying all of the colors in the palette. You have six colors total. Four colors are shimmer, one is a base or it could be used as a base and the other is just a plain matte green color. For this look I'm going to start off with this kind of, I don't know, darker shimmer color. Um, I'm going to start by putting this in the crease of my eye. I normally start by putting eyeshadow in the crease of my eye before putting it all over my eye. That kind of gives me a good guide. So creating the halo eye, I make sure that I focus on the inner corner, outer corner, and top outer lid. I'm making sure that I don't put anything in the center of my eyelid. That will be for a much lighter color or whatever I want the standout color to be. Okay, so as you can see, I started creating the halo eye with that um, that kind of medium shimmer color. And it actually comes out as if it was gray. So I'm kind of seeing like a very much gray effect going on right now. But anyways, so I'm going in with this green color here next. Of course, this is going to be a green eye. So what is a green eye without the green color? I'm going to be placing this the same exact way I placed that first color, that first shimmer color. I'm going to place it on the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to work it around and I'm going to place it on the inner corner of my eye. I'm making sure that I do not touch the center of my lid. That center lid will be the standout shade for the whole entire look. So I do want to make sure that I'm very careful on applying this green color. Okay, so now we're moving on to this dark color here. I will be placing this dark shimmery color on the outer corner of my eye and the inner corner, just those two spots. If you've noticed with the last two, like I said before, I dragged those two over the lid. However, for this dark color, I am only focusing on the outer corner of my eye and the inner corner of my eye. I will not be dragging this over my lid like I did with the last two. This will help you create a depth effect on your eye. To me, I really feel like it helps bring your eye out way more, especially with the colors that you have already on. And for this step, I'm just adding my Maybelline New York Master Concealer. You can use any light concealer that you have just to bring out that center lid. As you can see, I didn't put any eyeshadow there. Um, I'm just doing this to kind of bring out that center part of my lid so that the color will take way better. This step is very optional. Some people don't even do this. It's really up to you. I'm just doing it like I said before, just so that it could take the color a little better. Now I'm going to go in with this really pretty gold color and place this all over the center of my lid.
Now I'm going to go in with this slightly lighter shade. It's kind of lighter than the very first shade that I placed on my eye. It's very close to that light gold color that I placed on the center of my lid. And I'm just going to try to blend that in with the side of my center lid and that green color. This is really optional. You don't even have to do this. I'm just doing this because I'm trying to use all of the colors in this palette for this video. So yeah, this is kind of just beneficial for the video. And I'm taking that green color and just smudging out my bottom lash line. Now I'm going to take this white shade and just place this on both of my brow bones. And I don't know, I just don't feel like this look will be complete without placing this gold shade on my tear ducts. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and how I created this eye look. If you feel like it could have been a little bit more detailed, let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on anything about this video or any kind of videos that you want to see me create, let me know in the comments below. I would love to interact with you guys. Thank you so much once again for tuning into this video and I will see you guys later.